goes down there. Look at those shootout drivers. The minute he's stuck in, Bobby Griffin forced out wide. England 346 on the outside of the blues. I will go in 22 and took the win in the team to try and find a way through, but Goodwin leads the way. Loma right on Jake Harding, not too far behind the winning block. As the cars thunder down, we've got one customer down there, as goes far down the look at the gym shop. Vin Sargent's pulled up towards the infield, I think he got caught out on the tyres on turn two. He was very much in command on the online version of that building hall when we were in lockdown. That's on the side of his own pace now in the traffic section. 73 Cowley trying to get on the move, but Goodwin leads away from Hari. As they go down the far side, Will Gero uh, with a problem there, he slowed down, the car's coming to a standstill to the outside of turn two, could that cause an issue? 5 on 5 Raymond Jr. is getting sideways with Tom Harris down on a chip top turn. That's Kitson involved there, 5 3 2. 22 of Gero on the outside of turn two then as they come the round. Change of the lead. It is Jake Curry that takes up the lead in 345 from Sam Brigg in 87. Sam Brigg on the inside. Harris Reed joins and fires the lead car across the front of the uh, Curry car in 345. That puts out the lead up the front then in 339. The in 295. The 525 with the cops in there as well. Hits him and got tangled up just then further back down the field. Not on the uh, race lap, of course. 525, your race leader then. Nigel de Kock, and Lee pulls up in 339. It's Nigel de Kock, the man that took victory in Northampton in the Grand Masters, that leads away in this feature final for the Mr. Paul Ron stop car. Three good ones uh, still up there, but smoked from the car. Raymond Jr. lap down, we're going to have to work back down the hill. I think Bradley Harrison's up there in car 25. It looks like the Scribbins having a bit of a fun time spinning around down there on turn two. The cop leads. It is a fast race as we go halfway, Mr. Starter, next time. Halfway called. Nigel de Cop leads away. Car 525. Louis Goodwin then still powering around the raceway. Bradley Harrison in the third. Jane Clark, I think, was uh, caught up as well in the early stages. And we go yellows. The yellows are out. One or two down there on turn four. And that might uh, just get the cars in the running order on the line. But the race lead of Nigel de Kock in 525. Yellows 
So a check on the two drivers, of course. A big, big head on there from the uh, treble five on the 20 car. And I think the 20 car, the driver's okay, but we need to check on Junior Junior. And I certainly see his hands are moving, so the marshal's just checking down there on the raceway. We'll be back with just a few laps to go very, very shortly. down away we go then the green and two to come to the lead Harrison just in behind down the far side are about to go will be last lap next time the cop with the lead in comes Harrison from the rear bumper gently on the back of the cop can he move him aside and power down the inside last lap here we go the cop then backing away Harrison with the lead the cop down the far side in second all the way down into turn three can Harrison hold down the power indeed he does in car 197 the checkered flag about to drop on this one it's Ryan Harrison who takes the win in the final in car 197 the owner the cop in 525 the rest of the positions we will check but it's of course Ryan Harrison one of the uh, shootout contenders taking the final win then and about to burn the tyres off all the way around the raceway here at Mildenhall. 